सी माय बैकस्ट्रीट बॉयज मीन्स तेरे नाम हेयर स्टाइल आई एम प्रीटी श्योर आई वॉज इन लाइक नाइन्थ और टेंथ आई वॉज क्वाइट प्राउड ऑफ दैट हेयर स्टाइल दैट मिडिल पार्ट यू नो निक कार्टून मीट्स सलमान खान फ्रॉम तेरे नाम बाई सो दिस इज यूहैन ऑन ड्यूरिंग संडे फुटबॉल ही इज बंटी वाले आर सन हु इज एक्सट्रीमली क्यूट एंड वेरी लविंग वेन एम आई कम to the field he always runs to me and gives me a lot of love yeah. and uh, i always like when uh, you know young children boy or girl when they into sports yeah. uh, you know it's something that i would like to um, definitely encourage in my children when i have children you know yes. to play and especially soccer soccer is something i'm very attached to yeah. uh, it's something which gave me identity at very early in my life you know i was below average in everything in studies in in dramatics everything but football gave me a uh you know it, it, i was decent so yeah. you know you found some identity in it I, i would like to believe i am i i don't know if i'm good or not but uh, yeah i mean when my two uh, younger cousin brothers arman adar were born while they were growing up they were like my tail wherever i went they followed me and they they really uh, worship me and so i guess i was good to them that's why they were doing that um i have a niece called samara who's 11 now uh and she's a little shy she also lives in delhi and uh, but her growing up years we were quite close you know now she's um, in that awkward age where you know boys are a bit Please. yeah but uh, yeah i would like to believe i'm close to children i am the cool uncle but i don't like to be called uncle i tell him call me rk because i don't want to like no. uh, you know give a uncle tag but then you know there is a little bit of distance yeah. and also that people think i'm old he has got a ring to it yeah it's got yeah. a good ring to it and also i don't want people to think i'm old so you know right. just call me rk got it well there's no reason like there's no superstition attached to it it's just that my mother's birthday is on 8 uh and it's just a number that i connected with you know i like the way it looks it's uh, infinity right? it's infinity also uh, all my cars are number 8 my football jersey is number 8 Uh, and I like it, you know. I just like something about the number, and uh, I am fortunate that even Alia loves that number. So both of us are also contemplating to get a eight tattoos at some point in our life. Oh, love. But uh, we're still talking about it. We haven't decided. Mm. Oh, who wouldn't be jealous of this picture? I was assisting my father on a film called Ab Lord Chale. This was, I think, in a place called Sunside Heights, outside New York. And uh, you know, to be honest, uh, Ash was also kind of starting out her career. But even though I, I, I'm younger to her, she really befriended me. You know, we really used to chat about movies. She was also working on Hamdi Le De Chuke Sanam at that time, so we used to talk about that character, how she's prepping with Mr. Bansali. Every time she packed up, we used to meet in the evening. We used to have a meal together. We used to chat about life. Um, I'm really happy that I have had that friendship with her. And I've also had the opportunity to work with her, visit her. And uh, not many people get the chance to romance Aishwarya Rai on screen, so that's a score. <laughs> No I think uh, my first choice was being a director I assisted on a film called Prem Granth that my chacha uh, the late Rajiv Kapoor had directed um and that time I remember I was the clapper boy I used to get 250 rupees a month uh, I was in the 6th or 7th standard then and then after a few years when I finished the 10th I assisted my father on Ab Lord Chale and uh, yeah that was the experience I mean every new actor I meet actor or actress I tell them that yeah go to a film school you know learn the basics but be on a film set the amount of knowledge that you can get on a film set you know working with the oh, director yeah. you know yeah you know seeing actors uh, actors in front of you you know how scenes are, are, are imagined how they are performed i really hope that everybody who is an aspiring actor is go to a film set work under a director and just understand how it's all how the magic is made wow so this picture is with uh, uh that was my father's driver tukaram and amar uh, he is to work at home and i don't know why i'm posing like this and why am i dressed like this uh, but this was uh, uh, in my house called kesar villa which is the house i was born in i was a big skateboarder i used to enjoy uh, roller blading and skateboarding i remember i've fallen a lot on the skateboard i have cut myself here on my head i don't know but i think this was my go to pose because i've seen couple of pictures where i was always like this i think i probably saw one of my father's magazine covers where he is posed like this so i thought that maybe that's how you pose uh, but it looks hideously stupid so this i think is in uh, during rockstar promotion we were somewhere in amritsar if i am not mistaken 
and it's always so overwhelming you know when you meet your fans and they give you so much of love and support it was such an amazing day i remember uh, they were screaming my name they were saying sada hak it's always special and uh, I'll, this, i'll always keep this close to my heart yeah something like that happened a couple of years back i was staying in carter road i was renting an apartment there and uh, four five of them came home and uh, we had a great time uh, you know yeah like they were very sweet and we were dancing and uh, we were making merry and it was a good time so this is a meal that uh, my father my mother my uncle dabu uncle and i think that's the famous chef jix karla who passed away we've been really foodies you know my entire family and right. like we always look forward to every friday saturday we used to step out uh, going for meals i remember my nani used to take my sister and me to shiv sagar every friday so i used to have the butter sada dosa she used to have pav bhaji and saturday or sunday sorry saturday night my parents took me and my sister for dinner uh, usually chinese food they were big fan of chinese food so lings pavilion nanking these were our go to places and sunday usually was a time to go to my grandmother's house in chimbur where the entire family used to come together so that entire weekend used to be just a food weekend you know all we did was eat food and talk about what we going to eat the next day uh, seeing my backstreet boys meets tere naam hai style <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure I was in like ninth or tenth uh, standard, uh, but yeah, I'm, I mean, I was quite proud of that hairstyle, that middle parting, you know, Nick Carter meets it was, it was the rage. yeah, the Salman Khan from Tere Naam vibes. Yeah. So this, I think, is uh, we uh, for Savaria promotion. We had done a photo shoot for the Vogue magazine. It was shot by again the late Patrick Dimashi, if I'm right. Uh, he's a legend, um, and I remember this was just a photo shoot. but this went on for two days because mr bansali is such a perfectionist unless he gets the right angle the right shot the right costume uh, but memorable uh, time and uh, it was my first international magazine uh, shoot so it was quite exciting i think the fact that i assisted him uh, kind of uh, made it a little easier but working with him wasn't easy at all because he is a hard task master you know he is someone who uh, has sacrificed a lot in his life for his work and i think i really imbibed that from him that filmmaking or acting is not how we see it from the outside you know it's just not the glamorous part of of you know or they have such glamorous lives you know there's a lot of hard work to achieve and to reach where you are and i really understood that from mr bansali and he really patiently um spoke to me about it took me through you know held my hand and and very safely made me understand what it takes to be a successful person in the film industry so this is adil e mushkil that's karan that's sharan who is the director of uh, gunjan saksena now and that's shriti who's also working on dramastra who's going to be a director soon we were shooting a scene in my apartment where i'm dancing in my boxer shorts and uh, obviously Uh, you, as you can see karan's expression scenes like this he really knows what uh, uh, you know what works what doesn't work so you wanted to show me the monitor i don't usually see the monitor because i cringe when i see myself yeah so i never see the monitor and i always uh, rely on the director's instinct or what he's trying to better on the next shot but you i think you wanted me to see something because something was not working um, that's why we are looking at the monitor well i think he's a better friend oh lovely you know uh, and not just to me you know i have seen how he has maintained relationships with so many people from the film industry and and it's and, tough, and it's tough yeah and as i'm growing older you know i am getting tired of you know being that polite person and you know your kind of your world starts narrowing down to fewer people in life you know because it's easier you know god has granted you free few brain cells you rather put it to fewer people than so many people but karan's not like that you know you have a problem even at 3 in the morning you want to show him what to wear at the airport you want to take his advice on a movie you want to take his advice on of a or on a controversy on anything you know he always has the right advice to give you i'm not sure if it's the right advice but he always has a heartfelt advice to give you then it's up to you to take it or not Well I think he's going through a little bit of a midlife crisis yeah. because the way he's dressing is is too hip hop for my liking. I mean I dress a little maturely than him. Uh but he's got cool stuff like especially his uh, all the supreme stuff that you know I, I, there was a phase that I was obsessed with supreme. Yeah. He started buying so much of supreme that I would uh, I was very jealous at that time. Uh but now I'm okay you know I'm but his supreme stuff is very cool. So this is a shot from Mr Rajkumar Hirani's office. Uh this is during the prep of Sanju I mean, you go to his office and you see posters of Munna Bhai, Three Idiots, PK, Lagiro Munna Bhai, and you're just like, how did I get in here? You know, and like, now Sanju. and now Sanju. Yeah. 
paths, you know. So it was such a, uh, I mean, I, I still don't believe it that I got an opportunity to work with him, to work with Abhijaar Joshi, to work on Sanjay Dutt's biopic. Uh, it was such a huge success and it gave me so much uh, that I'm, I'm very grateful that I got that opportunity. I think the first thing, the script was amazing. So I, I, I knew that the story uh, really protected me uh, because Mr. Hirani and Abhijat are just geniuses where writing is concerned. But I think the big challenge was to play Sanjay Dutt because Sanjay Dutt is such a relevant actor even today. People know how he is, how he looks, how he talks. So there was a fine line between mimicry and just kind of, you know, to touch and go. So I, I did like countless look tests, like probably 500 of them, you know, we got we were uh, um, dejected, we were sad because most of them didn't work out. When I was putting prosthetics, I was either looking like my father, or I was looking like somebody else. Uh, so a lot of, lot of uh, hard work went into getting the look right, you know, getting certain mannerisms right. Uh, then we got the confidence, okay, you know, I can do this part. But apart from that, the script was just actor proof, you know, it was just amazing, yeah. He is very cool. Now you just can't take away from the fact that he is probably the coolest coolest badass guy in, in, in the world, yeah. you know, I mean, look at his life. Uh, he recently battled with fourth stage lung cancer and he's come out of it and doctors saying that his lungs are like a 12 year old kids. I mean, that's something, right? But of course, we've been family friends. I've grown up when I was 10 and 11. I had a poster of Sanjay Dutt on my uh, cupboard wall. Then to play him and then to be the protagonist against him, yeah, who's playing the antagonist, yeah. and it was, it, it was just too, like, how do I, you know, I don't know how to put in words. That's the legendary Saroj Khanji. Uh, this is during Savarya, during uh, Chhel Shabila song that of Rani Mukherjee. But I already had a, a very strong bond with her because I worked on Aab Lord Chale, and she was the choreographer there, and she really also took me in her wings. She taught me a lot of expression about dance, even watching her work, you know, when my father said, I don't like this movement, can you change it? Spontaneously how she used to change the movement, you know, and, and it was all about expressions, you know. Yeah, the dance is good, you know, everybody can learn one, two, three, four, but the kind of expressions that she gives her actors, emoting from, emoting from the face, you know, and, and that's what I learned, that dance is more about the face than the body, you know, the body should do the stuff, that's, that's your basics, you know, but what you do with your face is what really the audiences get engaged with. Oh, this is me actually during every promotional event of every film of mine. This is, I think, during Jaga Jasus uh, or Sanju, one of them. Uh, I don't know if I'm acting or I'm really sleeping, but I think I was sleeping. You can see a lot of coffee, a lot of coffee cups have been consumed. But coming back to marketing, it's death. Like, you know, like I'm an actor. How do I sell myself? How do I sell a movie? You know, that's, that's something which I have to constantly learn. Um, and, and be good at it because that's again is such an important part of being part of films is marketing your films but I hate it. <laughs> when you come in on social media, uh, I mean that's just become the question you know. Uh, yeah, I hope I've never asked that question. This was again during a Vogue shoot, uh, uh, Vogue covered my entire family. It was uh, one of those really memorable pictures which it's up on my wall. There was my grandmother, there was Shami Dadaji, Shashi Dadaji, Dabu Uncle, Chimpu Chacha, Karina, Lolo, Babita Aunty, Dabu Uncle, Chimpu Chacha, my father, my mother, yeah. my grandmother. So it was, it was a very memorable moment. We shot it in Mehboob and all of them just coming together and posing for a picture. And it was, I mean, it made me realize that wow, my family is just full of legends, you know. I mean, everyone's such an accomplished actor and so good at their job. Uh, it, was, it was really a precious day for me. You know, I did. I did a very forgetful film called Beshram with my parents. Uh, and uh, see, my mother always told me that when she started working, she started working when she was like six, you know, and she acted and like when Kabi Kabi she was 13 or 14 years old. People don't believe that. And she kind of, her, she gave up her career when she was 20. And today people start their careers when they were 20. So she was never fond of acting and she never understood acting. She said, I was just natural, I used to go on set, they used to tell me I have to do it. And you know, people used to like me because I was bubbly and I was sweet. Uh, but now, you know, me, my sister and me have really encouraged her that she used to go out there, she should work, keep herself busy. And she's, I think she started enjoying the process now. She's doing a television show, she's doing a couple of movies. And uh, now when I talk to her, you know, she's taking acting classes. She's uh, going for dance rehearsals. So just to see that, that passion within her come alive, even at this age, is really heartwarming, you know, and 
Now, both of us, we discuss each other's work. There was a time that she used to just discuss my work, but now we're discussing each other's work. You know, how was your day at on set? And so it's, it's really nice, it's really hard on me. So that's my grandmother, that's my younger cousin Arman, my sister who's wearing a taxi driver cap, I don't know why. My other cousin Tashu Didi and that's me. And this was our Sunday ritual that we used to eat crabs. That's a crab. 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 Yeah, that's right. all we used to. You're you holding a crab. Because uh, she used to get scared of crabs, so I used to go <laughs> next to her. This is her table where she used to sit to make her hair. She was always very impeccably, impeccably dressed all the time. And uh, so yeah, Sunday was crab day and uh, I'm trying to scare her with the crab. Love you. Yeah, I was a naughty kid, but I wasn't like, I, I wasn't uh, Dennis the Menace. <laughs> I was decent when I was shouted at, I was petrified of my father. Right. So when he was around, I was very well behaved. Right. But otherwise, I was probably like as naughty as every kid would right. be. Right. You know? That's both of us dancing to uh, Om uh, Shanti Om. Uh, we were promoting our film Beisharam together. And uh, I mean, what do I say, you know, just working with him, just, just being around him. Uh, my favorite actor and you know, I, I, I I think while growing up, I, I always uh, saw him as my father. But when I started working in movies, I realized his value as an actor and what he's done in cinema, the kind of spontaneous actor he was, the way he used to perform his songs, the way he used to romance. You know, it's, there's, there's nobody like him. And he was also acting at a time when there were a lot of stylized actors, you know, a lot of action heroes. And just to be natural and spontaneous and really make a mark and really have a 40 plus career, you know, is, is something which is quite amazing. So yeah, dancing with him, again, you know, like, he's someone who used to dance with his face, yeah. you know. My, mo my mother used to tell me, like, his footwork was always wrong. He was always stamping on my foot during uh, Ek Me Aur Ek Tu and all. He's doing everything wrong, but his face was so expressive that nobody's looking at, nobody's looking at you know. So, I mean, that's that's what it is. Is It's, it's this. I mean, so much, you know so much over my life that all my life that he's told me but i think the simple one which he always said was that don't take success to your head and failure to your heart it's something which um, something which i guess i live by you know I, I don't get swayed with success and i don't get depressed with failure uh, the the prize is in the process you know it's the work and finally the result is is something which is not in your hands and we live in such a fickle industry you know, I mean, it, one Friday takes you up, one Friday takes you down. So you should not take that seriously. Uh, usually during a successful film, my immediate reaction is, whew, it's a relief on to the next. Yeah. And when it's a failure, you're like, damn, you know, like, okay, I'm going to work harder next for the next one. So it's usually that, there is nothing else beyond it, you know. Well, Shamshera is a very, very, uh, it's, it's such a different departure from the kind of films I've done. Uh, and I'm saying this because I don't think any director uh, saw me uh, in a character like this, or offered me films of this nature. Um, I play a, a, a Daku, who's part of a tribe in the uh, late 1800s. Um, and uh, he's the leader of the tribe. Uh, he's someone who's fighting against oppression, someone who's fighting for his people. Uh, I play a double role in it, a father and, a, a, and the son. So very exciting, it's a badass entertainer. You know, it's like, it's actually like an amusement park roller coaster. You know, it's got, it's got everything. It's got comedy, it's got emotion, it's got action, it's got the thrills, it's got the big scale, VFX. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's just going to be a lot of fun at this. I'm firstly sorry, you know, it's been, ta it's taken so long. You know, I've been doing these two films, Shamshera and Brahmastra, which are very VFX heavy, big budgeted, uh, large canvas films. Uh, and also COVID took one and a half years from my life, but uh, I'm excited now because they are up for the release. This year is going to be a big year for me. Uh, two film releases, got married this year. Uh, so lots to look forward to. Congratulations.